So let's start with a demo. Uh, we'll do the demo first and then I will explain to you some stuff. <laughs> let's get, uh, for this I will need a site. So I'm going to use this site that works. I will debug later why those sites are not getting up. Window management is Mac is like, yeah, this will do. So I will open this same site that I have open here in the console, right? Let me make it bigger. So what I will do is, I'll open up JavaScript console here. So one side I have like the Python console, the backend, and one side I have the front end. Let me just clear it. And what I will do is I will do prep a dot on prep a dot listen. I think it's called listen. What was it? Socket IO dot. Nope. Give me a minute. I forgot the name, name of that method. Hmm. So let's go to the docs and find it out because, like, it's Usual. So even though now I have recalled the name, I will go ahead and find it anyways. So let me search socket IO. Okay, real time. Cool. Again, this all in the docs. Real time dot on. So let me just finish it. I will show you. Custom event. So dot custom event happened in that end. Cool. So I wrote a line of JavaScript executed it and now I came to the backend. Private dot publish real time custom event and I hit enter. Boom. What just happened? Instantaneously when I published this event in the backend, like this console log got called called. How so what, what does this line do basically? So what we are doing is we are attaching a listener for this event. So socket IO listener, this is not the JavaScript event listener. So I'm listening for this event. So event name is like matters because this custom event, custom event are same. So I'm listening for this event. And whenever this event happens, I'm going to call some code in the front end, right? So this is what this does. So I'm just console logging and from backend, I'm publishing that event. So at any point in time, I'm running, running my program and I reach a point where I want to like notify the front end that in real time, that something changed. I can call publish real time, give it a name of the event. As you can see now, right. I am publishing real time. It is receiving and executing the code. What more I can do. I can pass in data. User. publish it like the event is coming, but data is not getting logged because we are not logging the data. So let's do this. We'll come here. So it will pass the data to this function and then we can log the data. I'll hit enter. Now I'll go back, publish real time user Hussain, right? Isn't it awesome? So this is real time. 
So this works on socket IO. Awesome. Some warnings, but yeah, it's fine. Cool. So how can this be useful? Chat applications, right? So without loading, without doing any fetch requests, chat apps are built on socket IO. One more use case. So yeah, suppose five users are using your system. You might have also seen it, uh, like in action when you are in some form view and someone goes into that form view and avatar of their uh, image appears, right? There is no request for like, if, uh, it is called polling basically. So you continuously check, oh, okay. Who else is seeing? Who else is seeing? That is not what's happening. So from backend, Frappe will publish an event. Okay, this user is viewing this document as soon as he opens that doc and the avatar will appear. And then like it can uh, again publish an event. Okay, user went offline. Cool. So what I will do one more example here. So what we can do is uh, we can listen to Mm. flight tickets updated right this is the new event and i pass in new seat list right i'm connecting everything to the flight mode app like the aeroplane mode app 3a 2p okay 2p uh, I'm publishing, but I'm not listening anywhere, so I can't do anything. So, uh, hide floating controls. Yeah. So, let's go here. And the event name, this time event name is the same. Flight tickets updated. And hit enter. And now I go here publish real time as i can see i get an area of two so these are the new and real time i can make changes in my uh, html right so this is real time there is one more utility function built on top of real time that is called publish uh, progress let me move this up so how publish progress works is Suppose, so you might have seen it in when you bulk update records or uh, bulk import, like I'll show you uh, airplane, airline list. Maybe you do this. You come here, edit, change the field of founding year to 2003 update records. So it happened instantaneously, but when there are like a lot of records, you see a progress bar here. So how you can like integrate this progress bar in your own apps, right? So you are building a POS suppose, and then like the user hundred items he selected and then clicked on some button that does like one by one processing of those items. So meanwhile, we want to show the user some feedback, right? That, okay, we are processing this ticket or this post item. So you can use this function. So what it takes is it takes a percentage. So how much is complete right now? Right? So let's do 50%. And then you can give it a title. Mm. My process. Awesome. So it will show up a UI with a loading indicator, which is 50% through. And it's like my process, right? So let's do one interesting example. So what I will do is prep it or, uh, I will loop. So, so how do, how, when does it close? Right? So it will automatically close when you publish an event with hundred percent boom. So it also it animates. So let's do this frappe dot publish. No. So what I'm going to do, suppose like hypothetically I'm, uh, I'm processing some records like two seconds each maybe. Right. And I want to publish like after each record, okay, 10% done, 20% done, 30%. So hypothetically I will do this for in range, simple Python. I'm looping 10 times import time. I'll sleep for three seconds. 
let's do one second or two seconds. And then what I will do is I will do publish. Prep a dot publish re uh, publish progress. So I will do I into I plus one into ten. So first time it will be ten percent, then twenty percent, then thirty percent, then hundred percent at the very last loop. So the title matters because there can be multiple progress is going on right so this is what frappe will use to uniquely identify that particular progress loop progress i hit enter enter 10 20 learn something new or did you like already using it somewhere i find it pretty cool like for how much less code you can control <laughs> this right and done good user experience like very less amount of code so yeah next time you are processing like 100 records and you want to publish some progress to the front end suppose you have some doc type and on submit you are processing like 10 20 records use publish progress awesome so an application doesn't subscribe to the progress. Like automatically desk, desk will handle that. Yeah. So desk will automatically pop it up and like show it. So what I will do is uh, I'll play it like 50% and you have some other progress that is like, so it will on top of it, it will come. So it can handle multiple as well. Awesome. And on hundred, it will automatically close. Super cool. This was real time. So how real time works. So basically there is one more Redis instance where this event is queued and then it is picked up by the socket IO process and thrown to the front end and front end like socket IO library or rapid or real time you can use to subscribe and uh, you can unsubscribe using off. So there is also frappe dot real time dot off and you can give it the event name. Okay. Now don't, don't, don't listen or don't act on this event. So now even when I publish progress, it won't do anything. So this it's very easy to try. Even there is a bench command. If you don't want to go into console, there is a publish command in bench as far as I know. So let's find out bench dash dash help. Mm. let's do one thing mm. we'll do grep to easily find that real time related commands yeah publish real time yeah directly you can do bench so let's do again on no. cool cool where is it where is it where is it So bench publish real time. Then I give it the event name. I'm guessing. So this will be custom event. Site name. Okay. How do bench know which site to publish the real time event? Right. That's the site change makers local host. What okay, published real time should come later. Yep. Here is your event getting logged. 